All right, another edition of Ishmaelite Islamic Quranic Delirium, a little monologue I like doing from time to time. And uh, in this case, I'll be covering about the fact that Islam is witchcraft. It's just basically, because when Muhammad started Islam, all it is is he essentially took uh, truths from the Old Testament and mixed it in with the uh, pre-Islamic heathen Arabian religion. I mean, who is Allah? Well, Allah is a moon god. You know, Allah, the uh, deity of Islam, was originally an Arabian moon deity, who, by the way, actually had three daughters, uh, which there's a Quranic verse about that, which, you know, Muhammad later says, oh, it was actually Satan who deceived me. It, it, it's a funny whole little debacle where he basically, there's a revelation supposedly from Satan in the Quran, and Muhammad admits it. But the thing about Allah is that Allah is a moon deity that was worshipped by the pre-Islamic Arabians, hence why they had no issue accepting Islam, because, well, I mean, Allah is already a god they worshipped. So they had no problem with that. And Islam is just basically the same kind of witchcraft that was practiced back then before Muhammad started Islam. He just basically incorporated it with some truths from the Old Testament. Hence why you have a lot of these practices like the circumvallation around Mecca. You know, when they do it five times, that's directly from the pre-Islamic heathen uh, witchcraft type of uh, traditions they would do. So all it is is just basically repackaged heathen, just like how Roman Catholicism is just basically pagan Greco-Roman religion with some New, New Testament truths and Old Testament truths mixed, in, uh, mixed into it. That's all that Islam is. It's just the same thing that Roman Catholicism is. Basically, when it comes down to it, uh, Islam is, of course, obviously a daughter of the harlot, obviously a daughter of the Roman Catholic Church. I mean, Muhammad was influenced by Augustinian monks. But this idea that, oh, you know, because, you know, whenever you talk about the fact that Mecca is essentially an idol, the Muslims will get all upset about that. Well, when you are when you have to make a pilgrimage and you're busy kissing that thing, that is idolatry. And just more proof that Islam is just basically just pre-Islamic witchcraft, pre-Islamic Arabian witchcraft, repackaged with some truths from the Old Testament. And when you get down to the truth of the matter, Muhammad was obviously devil possessed. When he talked about how it was he was being deceived by Satan at one time, he was right. He was he was being deceived by Satan, but it wasn't just one example. The whole Quran is basically a satanic diatribe written by a devil possessed whoremonger named Muhammad. So there's my little monologue today for uh, the Ishmaelite Quranic delirium that was started by the false prophet Muhammad under the influence of Catholic Augustinian monks. Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12, Proverbs 8, verse 36, and John 8, 44. Also, uh, 1 John 2, verse 22, down to verse 23, perfectly describe this uh, satanic delirium started by the Islamic false prophet Muhammad uh, under the influence of Augustinian Catholic monks. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.